Why don't you just meet me in the middle? I'm losing my mind just a little. Obviously, I'm not much of a singer. Uh, but that might as well have been David's prayer in his season of waiting. He was always talking about crying out, asking God to hear him, and declaring that, in fact, God did hear him in the middle of all his despair. Psalm 18:6 says, But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry reached his ears. I feel like we often find ourselves in the middle, and the middle is rarely good. We say things like, I'm stuck in the middle. Nobody wants the middle seat on the airplane. Being in the middle is no good. The middle child's the worst, and the toughest part of school is what? Middle school, right? And I won't even bring up which finger seems to be the worst. We don't like the middle. We like starting lines and finish lines. We don't like the middle of the race nearly as much, but sadly for us, most of life is spent in the middle, working something out, figuring out life, wrestling with decisions, struggling through relationships, waiting on resolution. And it's so important for you and me to know without a doubt or hesitation that God hears us from the middle. David reminds us that in our distress, in the middle of our mess, our cries reach his ears. So don't despair. He hears you even when you're standing there in the middle.